Come on, come on, amen. Why don't you clap your hands together today? Amen. Why don't you have a seat? Can you grab a seat? Hey, listen, this morning, uh, we get to celebrate baptisms today. Come on, somebody say amen. amen. Come on now. Listen, I want to share with you just a couple of things about baptism. I think, un- unfortunately, we, we get a, a baptism gets a little bit of a crazy rap because we don't really talk about it enough. We don't talk about what baptism is or what baptism isn't. So I wanna tell you just a couple things about what, what baptism isn't. By the way, if you're here for the first time or the first time in a long time, can I just be the first to tell you, welcome home. It's sure great to have you here with us. My name's Lance, I'm a pastor here. But let me tell you this, uh, let me tell you what baptism is not. Baptism, first of all, is not a magic bath. It's not a magic bath. Doesn't make anything happen in your life to make everything awesome. Baptism number two is not a super, a super shield dip for protection. It's not a super powered protection dip. It's not like a flea dip for your dog. I remember we used to take our dog in for a flea dip. Anybody ever done that? You're just like taking him in because you're gonna get the fleas away. This is not what baptism does. Baptism doesn't keep the cooties away. How many of you have ever been baptized and still had a few things, right? (laughs) Some of you, right? Listen, it doesn't keep it away, right? Baptism doesn't do that. Baptism number three is this. Baptism is not a key to super Christianity. It doesn't make Christianity super. It doesn't be like, well, once you do baptism, everything's awesome. Let's talk about what baptism is. Baptism is simply a step of obedience. Did you know that? Baptism is a step of obedience. Baptism is like uh, you working for uh, a company and your boss, imagine you working for a brand new company and your company says, hey, here's your first day on the job. I'm so glad you're here. And by the way, here's your new uniform for your new company. Go ahead and wear it to work tomorrow. And you say, nah, I think I'll wear shorts and t-shirt tomorrow to work. What they say is, hey, no, you're gonna wear our company gear, right? You're gonna say, you're gonna wear our company attire tomorrow because well, whatever is on the inside is gonna show up on the outside, right? You see, baptism is an outward expression of an inward change. And what, outward, what it is, is that you're saying to, to everyone around you, hey, I'm obediently going to walk out this thing called baptism. In fact, it says this, in Mark chapter 16, 15, and then Jesus told them, go into all the world, preach the good news to everyone, everywhere, and anyone who believes and is baptized will be saved, but anyone who refuses will be condemned. It goes on to say this, baptize, I love this, in Romans it says, for we died and were buried with Christ by baptism, just as Christ raised from the dead by his glorious power in the Father, now we may also live new lives. Matthew 28 says to be baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Baptism is a step of obedience. I love the fact, you get this, you know what else baptism is? Baptism, listen to this, this is really important. Baptism not only is a step of obedience, baptism is a symbol, in my opinion, a step of spiritual warfare. Do you realize, listen to me, it's a step of spiritual warfare because every demon in hell does not wanna see these people get baptized because they are declaring to the planet, to every human being and every demon who's watching, that they are different on the inside. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you hear what I just said? They're de- you didn't hear what I just said. They're declaring to every demon in hell and every person here watching that they are different on the inside on the outside. You hear that? They're saying, hey, I'm different on the inside and I want everyone to know. So in a few moments, we're gonna go down to the waters of baptism right over here. It's just a tank with water. There's not holy water in it. There's not super spiritual, super water in it. It's just water. In fact, there's a time in the Bible where Philip was actually riding in a carriage and he was, he was, he, they passed a mud puddle. The Ethiopian guy says, hey, I wanna get baptized. And he said, what are the odds you can take me over to that mud puddle and baptize me? It doesn't matter. He just says, hey, I want to do something on the outside because something's been done on the inside. So these people are gonna come in front of you all and they're gonna say, I'm gonna ask them a question. Why do you hear? Why do you wanna be baptized? In just a few short minutes, few short seconds, they're gonna tell you why they wanna be baptized. And then you know what you're gonna do? You're gonna go nuts. 
you're going to go nuts in Jesus' name. Because, let me tell you why. Because we're going to celebrate. Not only, you're scary to stand in front of for one, but for two, you're going you're gonna to celebrate with them because they're standing up and saying to the planet and every demon in hell that I'm making a public declaration of my personal faith. Amen? Unless we're going to pray over them and then you're going to shout. Amen? All right, let's see this guy. Let's get baptized. Come on, let's go. Awesome. Oop, right over here. There we go. Awesome, thanks. This is Don. How are you? Come on in. How are you, Don? Can you turn around and face all these people? How are you? Are you good? I'm amazing. I'll hold it for you so you don't get shocked. Okay. Jesus, here we go. Here we go. We don't want that. So tell us why are you here today, Don? I'm here to relieve my soul for Christ and to walk a path of strength within me so that the Lord can always guide me and I can guide others. That is why I'm here. Amen. Jesus is there. Amen. Come on. Amen. Amen. Is Jesus the Lord of your life? Jesus is the Lord of my life. Come on. Come on. Guys, let's reach our hands forward and pray for her and then we're going to shout after we baptize her. Can we do that? So Jesus, we thank you so much for Dawn. Thank you for this declaration, this public declaration of her faith. God, we thank you right now. We pray protection over her. God, we ask, God, that you would give her specifically a word for her heart. God, that she, as she makes this public declaration, God, that she would be able to stand strong in this declaration and commitment she's making before you and before all of her church family. Bless her, God. We love you and we trust you. Be with her now, God. It's our honor now to baptize her in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come on! Well done. Come on in. Come on in, Harper. How are you, Harper? Why don't we stay up there, Harper, so we can see you. You good? You nervous? No need, Harper. These people aren't that scary, are they? Have you ever stood in front of this many people? No, Harper. Well, I have. You have? <clears throat> can you tell us about Jesus, that you love him? Do you love Jesus? Yeah. Yeah. So why do you think you're here today, Harper? Do you want to be baptized? Yeah. So why do you think you want to be baptized? Because I love God and Jesus. Come on. That's enough. That's good. So Harper, can we baptize you today? Can, can we, we're going to pray for you. Is that all right? All right. Can we just stretch our hands forward and pray for How old are you, Harper? Seven. You're seven. Come on. We're gonna, I'm going to lay my hand on your head. Is that all right? Jesus, thank you so much for a Harper. God, only if most of us would have believed in you at seven. Jesus, we just pray for her little steps as she moves forward. First of all, thank you for her faith in you at seven. Lord, I've heard stories, of even my wife talking about her faith in you at seven. God, I'm so thankful that it was real. And Lord, it's, uh, it led her into making great decisions. And God, I pray that you would lead Harper to make some great decisions. And God, I pray that you would protect Harper. Lord, her coming and her going and all the things that are around her. Keep the enemy's hand away from her in every way. God, we love and trust you. Bless Harper now, Father. We thank you for your grace and your mercy over her life. And we trust you with her, God. It's our honor now to baptize Harper. We love you, Lord. Oh, good. Grandma, hop on in here. Okay, hop on in there, Grandma. I love that. It's our honor to baptize you, Harper. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come on! Well done. Dawn, come on in. 
right on. Oopsie. I'm not going to fall, Don. How are you? Good. Here, stay down here for a second. So, Don, we've known you for a while. It's good to see you. I'm proud of you. So why are you here today, Don? So we've, Pauline, I've known you since... It's like 19. Since you were 19. Yeah. Now you're 22. <laughs> yeah. There you go. We'll stick with that. Yeah. Well done. There you go. Okay, standing in front of you today, I can honestly say that I'm a changed woman because of the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. A year and a half ago, I prayed to God and asked him for a complete renewing of my heart, and he did just that. He removed everything from my life to create space for that change. It's been the hardest year of my life. I've seen growth. I've faltered. I've been disappointed and surprised. I've seen spiritual warfare over my life. I've been tested and tempted. I found joy and peace and comfort and true hardship. Through this valley, though, my constant has been the Lord. He's shown me true love and fulfillment, a gift I truly cherish. And so it only seems natural to stand in front of this congregation today and take this step of faith to build my foundation in the Lord. Today is monumental because not only am I getting baptized, but it's also the last day of a 30-week healing discipleship called Freedom Session that I joined back in September. I have found true freedom from my past pains and traumas. The Lord released the grip that the enemy had around my neck. He's released a spirit of resentment and bitterness, and I'm proud to say that through the Lord's grace for me and for Jesus' blood on the cross, I'm truly walking in freedom with God, paving the way for the next steps of my journey. Come on. Okay, that's no little thing. Wow. Proud of you. That's amazing. How do you feel? Good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So can I just ask, what would you say to somebody who feels bound up, like they're never going to make it, and that this is the hardest day of their life, and they'll never get past today? Yeah, it's not true. It's just a lie that the enemy wants to tell you. He's got you bound, and God has a better journey for your life. Come on. Paulie, will you come up here and pray with us? <clears throat> Lord, we thank you so much for Don. Lord, we thank you that you who began a good work in Don is going to continue to faithfully complete it. Lord, thank you what the enemy meant to harm, destroy, and break. Lord, you are continuing to bring to completion. Thank you for the healing you've begun and the healing you're going to continue to bring. Thank you for her babies. Lord, I pray that you bless them, protect them. Thank you for um, this day, this new day, this beginning. Lord, thank you for her church body that she stands in front of and declares today that she is a new person. Thank you for this morning. God, we love you. We bless her now, God. In Jesus' name. Dawn, upon your confession of faith, Jesus is your Lord. It's our honor to baptize you. You sit down. Baptize you in the name of the Father, and Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> Here we go. All right, Aiden. Hop on in there. Come. I want you to turn around. So tell us why you're here, Aiden. Uh, I, got, I got you. I got okay. you. Which way do I face? There we go. <laughs> I'm here today because uh, I just want to let y'all know I've walked both lives and. Uh, it's only been about nine months, maybe, of me truly getting into the Word and being really uh, driving for God. And in those nine months, there's been a lot of healing, and I just know this life is better, and this is the way I want. And I want to show y'all that my love for God is so great that I'll dedicate my life to Him. 
सिंह रविंद्र सिंह ऐसे so eight, I met Aiden. Uh, I don't know. It's been almost a year now, right? Or so. Yeah. Uh, I gotta say, this guy has so much passion for Jesus. He is so faithful. I mean, he really, really loves the Lord, and you can see it in his in his life and the way he lives and decisions he's made. I am so proud of you. And we've been praying and talking, and this is the most important decision of your life today. I'm so proud of you, my friend. Awesome. Brother, upon your confession of faith that Jesus Christ is your Lord, so proud. It's our honor to baptize you today in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So sorry, forgive me. You t- tell us why you're here, Olivia. Uh, well, for my my whole life, I grew up in a family of Jehovah's Witnesses, but wow. I, when I was about 12, stopped following their beliefs, and so for a really long time, I kind of avoided the conversation about baptism, like the plague, because the thought of being baptized by the witnesses was just abhorrent to me, and I know that's a strong word, but that's how it felt. Yeah. And so it feels like God is kind of calling me to take this step because he knows the history that I have with the subject of baptism. And so not only am I able to use this opportunity to display my obedience to him in the way of, you know, the outward expression of the inward change, but also in the aspect of, you know, this was something I hated for so long. So he wants me to take this step because, you know, it's just a way for me to show my obedience to him. Wow. Wow, I'm proud of you. I'm so proud of you. When did you come to know the Lord? Hmm? When did you come to know the Lord? Uh, about June of last year. Yeah? Wow. That's awesome. So can we pray for you? <laughs> yeah, maybe that's awesome. Jesus, thank you so much, Lord, for her life. God, I know that. Um, can we stretch our hands forward? Lord, we just lift up Olivia to you and we ask, God, in that... Um, Lord, you know all of the um, all of the things that stand in our way with her family and all of that. God, we just pray right now for strength and courage, and Lord, for her heart to just know wisdom, to know where to step and where to walk, and how to um, hold back, Lord, and where to push forward. We ask for humility and courage. So Jesus, we thank you for your grace and your mercy in her life and obedience. God, will you bless her obedience? Thank you for your grace today. Thank you for her being her Lord and Savior. Jesus, it's very clear. So we love and trust you. But upon her confession of faith today, it is our honor today to baptize her in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, sure. Hey, uh, where is Olivia's family in here? I haven't seen you guys yet. Oh, hey, I got to say, she has made a huge difference in our youth group already, and uh, you're going to shift culture. I just know it. You're a difference maker. You really are. And obedience is a word. You couldn't have said it any better, Pastor. So, all right, let's do this. Tell us why you're here today. I got you. Um, I've been so much, I've been going through so much in my life, and God has been there for me. And I just want to rededicate my life to Him and make right with Him. Okay. 
Okay, I'm good for now. It's okay. I love what's on your shirt. Thank you. J-Boy, it's on your shirt. I love that. I'm so proud of you. I've seen you grow in your faith. I've seen you bring your family to church. And I know your steps of obedience that no one else sees are growing fruit. I promise you, a tree that you can't see the fruit on right now, it's growing. There's roots beneath the surface. So don't stop now. Okay? Okay. Can we pray for Jenny? Jesus, thank you so much for your grace. Thank you for the, the steps in obedience that you're doing in your life. Thank you that you said in the word of God that you who began a good work are faithful to complete it. Lord, you're not done in her family. Lord, you're not done in her family. Lots of work to do. God, and you're doing it. I can see it. I can see it. So thank you for your grace. Thank you for her marriage. Thank you for her nephews. Thank you for her kids. Thank you for um, all her family. Jesus, we love you. And we thank you for your grace today. Lord, it's our privilege today to baptize her today in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come on. You have that poem that you want to read? What? Poem? Yeah. No, no, no. You don't have that poem? No, no, no. Okay, go ahead and sing the song. No. <laughs> no, you got nothing? Yeah. Tell us why you're here, man. Um, so the first time I came here was last year, October. And when I stepped into this exact room, the vibes and the energy were so positive. And um, I said to myself, yeah, this is how I, this is how I want to live. So I'm taking a dunk of faith and... Uh, Going one step closer to God. Come on. Yeah. You, uh, you love Jesus? Huh? You love the Lord? Yes, I love the Lord, yeah. Yeah, he's your Lord and Savior? Yes. Come on. Listen, I'm proud of you. Thank you. I've seen you. I've seen you take steps of faith. This journey, I'm telling you that there's going to be lots of pulls in your life. You continue taking steps of faith. That's what it's about. That's not about a run of faith. It's not about a, a race. It's all about just one step at a time. Right? Yeah. You got this. Right now, let's pray for you. Jesus, thank you for my brother. Thank you that, Lord, he is a tree in his family. Thank you, God, let the roots go deep. Thank you for his, thank you for what you showed him. God, that you didn't show him a river that's growing fast. Lord, you didn't show him a, a tornado. Lord, you just showed him the steps. So God, I pray that you show him the next right thing to do. God, I pray today that as he takes this step of faith, an obedient step of faith, God, that you meet him today. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your merciful grace over his life. Protect him. God, I pray his mind would be upon you. Lord, we love you and we trust you. Bless him today. God, it's upon this step of faith. We, we are honored today to baptize him today in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. And you are in a place where you're saying, hey, I, I think I would like to be baptized. And maybe you've never done that. And you're thinking, hey, man, I think that's something that I would like to add to my life or do and take a step of faith. I tell you, it's not a weird step at all. Some of these people, for the first time in their lives, they've done it. Or maybe this is something they've done years ago, but they want to do that. I will tell you, um, maybe even this next time, you, you saw today we had, what, 12 people, 15 people today? 12? But in both services, amazing, right? And we'll do it again. And when we do, I want you to come and join us. So stay close. So one of the things I want you to know is all of these people were connected to church, right? It wasn't just that they came one off and just said, hey, we're gonna come and just get dunked. Like they come, they're connected to church. That's one of the things I love about this decision that they all made. Listening to Dawn talk about the fact that she said, hey, I'm here, I'm home. I'm making a decision to get changed and connected. Maybe you're here today and you're realizing I need a church home. This is what it's about. You get baptized and you, have, you, you join a family. So come and be about that with us. 